dividing it. Uh, now, you may have thought I forgot about these slots. Well, they haven't, but I don't want to cut those slots. So there's the plate. Uh, until I have this mounted on there, and then I'm going to mark it. Mark it out before I uh, mill those slots out. I know I forgot, I forgot to mention that about that. Uh, you know, I'm thinking that these are metric, but they're not very tight, so. So remember, I think this will just will roll out of here. I'm not positive. I've taken it apart one time before. I have to take these all the way out. I, I really don't know who made this. There's no marks on it or anything, so it's probably an offshore one. It's not new. It's it's old, but it's, it works good. It, but I don't know really how old it is, but it's not. It is used. It came with my mill, so I still need to be, make some uh, proper handles uh, for it. Yeah, so that happens when you get old. You don't remember what you did. Yeah, when I first got this, I ended up having a, it only has one um, whole circle plate, um, circle plate. So I've had to make a few, a uh, couple of uh, whole circle plates. I just use uh, some uh, thick aluminum there. I think that's like 90 thousandths aluminum. And then I use the bolt circle function on the mill and uh, drill them out. I I uh, double stick tape it down to a piece of wood on a little platen and uh, and uh, go to it and I just bandsaw it out. Okay, that looks a little better. Rolls nice, but gets a little. Oh, there we go. There we go. Rolled right out. Okay. Yeah. See, I took this all apart before, cleaned it, relubed it. So it does. It it does go real well. Let's clean it up here a little bit. Okay. There we go, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Look at that. We'll be able to mount this uh, in the mill. I don't know if I'm going to use the vise to grab it, and then just put a jack underneath there, maybe. We're just, since we're just drilling, we're not doing a milling operation or anything like that. I think that might be the easiest way. Put something under here to support it. Put that part in the vise. It'd be the simplest and easiest. But anyway, so this plate's going to go on there. And uh, like I said, it's a little teeny bit shorter. So, you know, an eighth of an inch shorter than the base or so. And uh, we'll just offset it. But we. We squared the plate up, but I don't think the base is perfectly square. I didn't check it, but 
and it doesn't feel too bad. So we're over here on the mail. So I put the uh, base upside down in the vise. I put a jack underneath here with one, two, three block and dialed it in longitudinally here uh, on the x-axis um, for, for, uh, for flatness. Uh, this way it's, it's uh, within a few thousandths already so it's pretty good. You know, like two, two thousandths or three thousandths, something like that. So it's good enough. Uh, so it'll, it'll work. We'll see. Uh, I, I still might end up skim cutting this anyway. So, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I was, I'm happy with it. So I just uh, lined up the plate that we've already drilled on here. A uh, little gap on each end and basically flush on the sides. So what I did is I came in here and I lined up a quarter inch drill uh, right in the hole. And I called that my new... Uh, I re-zeroed uh, the DRO on that point, so I know according to my drawing how far this away all these are, and I'm just gonna put in my uh, number five uh, drill. I'm gonna do the number five, about a 65% thread engagement that way. Makes it a little easier to tap. We're gonna go in there, I'm gonna zero my quill DRO, and. Uh, zero there. We're going to drill some holes. Approximately a uh, half inch deep. That's about it. And uh, we'll um, uh, do our holes. I'm going to and then we'll uh, tap. We'll take the plate off and we'll tap them. We can leave it. We can leave it on there. Uh, I would do this. It, it'll work fine. So put a little oil in these holes. My special knurled uh, brush handle. Oh, this is really, really easy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. It's really, really easy. I'm gonna go to a number seven and keep it, keep it at seventy-five percent that way. I'll do the next hole and then uh, re-zero it that way. Okay, uh, I'm gonna vacuum that out of there. Okay, we got cleaned up, and uh, we'll take the plate off.
a little uh, witness mark there. So uh, that uh, I just uh, barely tightened that that tap in there. We'll see, so it will slip. Maybe a little. Try to do a little tighter, I guess. I just want to get it started anyway. Uh, uh, I just, I'll even just do it by hand. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe that'll work out. That looks pretty good. I'll run a bottoming tap in them after then. That looks pretty good. Okay, keep dropping that thing. Bottoming tap. Toothbrushes are always handy for this stuff. Okay, I had to clean that. I had to get all that cast iron out of those holes. It was kind of a pain, but anyway, just screwing it down. Came out good. Screws went right in. They look good. They're even. That's uh, gonna work. Put the dividing head uh, back together. We'll set it up on the surface plate and we'll do some measurements, see how things come out. So, uh, I don't know if I've ever showed these before, but uh, let me move a couple things. These are uh, some jacks I made. Uh, 
I am making four of them, two for me, two for my son. Uh, they have a T-nut on the end if you want to use them in a slot. A little studs come out, you know, if you don't want to use them in the slot. These are uh, made, the, the, the center portion I should say is, uh, th these here were actually made from railroad spikes, uh, these T-nuts. Um, the this part is made from a, one of the bolts I make uh, the dovetails cutters from on the uh, helicopter bolts. And this is a piece of scrap, uh, inch and a quarter, uh, a really long uh, like stud or tie rod bolt that you know, came from back in uh, early, probably early 1900s. It's really old. Uh, we found some of those in some old uh, gold mining areas. Uh, and I've got a few and I just whack them up and reuse them so But uh, half of this is threaded and Half isn't so you can put it on you slip it on this way and Screw it down for one one direction if you want it taller you can screw it on this way So it gives you a couple options and I made some nice little caps that uh, well they, they fit on the you know one end is a little smaller so this end this one fits on this end little aluminum caps if you want a flat surface I made some plastic ones if you want to use a plastic one in there and then there's you know also sit in there but it's a little looser but I made some caps for this end also I uh, kind of a handy little jack that's about it okay we'll take it out and we'll get it out set up on the surface plate